So welcome to the next clip is how we got married. It was very interesting. Um, we couldn't afford anything. So as I was bragging, telling her that day that how does August sound in your spirit? You know, if you watch the last clip, I talked about, talked about proposal. I said, how does August sound in your spirit and all that? So she wasn't even eager for August. She felt, ah, let's give oh it time. Yes, I like, look, oh, I if you know year. how long I used to wait for a fine wife. <laughs> so I now find the wife. You know, so she waits. I can't wait to. So I sharp persuaded her. She's okay. Let's do the August. Um, so now I went to meet her parents. Her parents said, ah, they just did marriage, a wedding last year or that they don't Two have Two years to, subsequently. So my elder know. sister, the year before the one yes, that's the fire. So, so they need, they need one more year so that they'll be ready, that they can't get to any wedding again this year. They've spent all their money. Ah, I said, if it's got money, don't worry, we'll be fine. You know, and you see me talking as if I even had money. I had nothing. I had nothing, but I knew I was going to. You know, it's always by faith. And that's what I need young people to realize. It's always by faith. So we'll just fix that date. You know, and uh, you know they agreed for August for traditional September third for the white wedding, and that's how we started. Hmm. Before I even get to that gist, um, before this time I had met your dad, so I used to come visit her, you know, in the house, okay. and the parents didn't know fully that her relationship with that guy had ended at the time. They didn't know, you know, yeah, the parents. Yeah. And this was some years back. Okay, I mean, some months back before the proposal and all that. So. Um, the the dad now saw me, you know, he hadn't seen me in the house, so he just sent for me one day upstairs. So I came upstairs and he said, um, young man, you know, what do I do in my house? What's your in in intention? What do you want? You know, and I had a split second to decide. Either I tell him that I came to borrow this book. <laughs> that no, me not. Ah, he says, book where I didn't, uh, oh my God, or something like that. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, biology. Economics. You know, so, but I just felt, since I, I knew my intentions, if I say this book now, At I'll have to come age, back. <laughs> what age do you want to say I'll have to come back a few months after to come and change my mouth. I say, since he's asking, let me just say, declare. So I just told him, ah, I'm interested in marrying your daughter and everything. He said it's impossible. He said, is it God forbid he said or he something? He said it's impossible. He said it's impossible. He said it's impossible that it can never happen. He looked at me today and said, it's totally impossible. That can never happen that um, he didn't train her to this level to come and be teaching Sunday school in a church. You know, I, I told me of all, I should forget it. I should go and do something else in my life. That not this one, you know. She still he still assumed that she was in a relationship with the doctor and all that, all that. So, uh, but today is my main man. God gave me favor. Um, the siblings liked me. Then this, those siblings, especially the elder sister, now spoke to. Yeah, my eldest sister, sister yes. came visiting with her daughter. She just had a baby, mm. and so she was. That's how you actually. That's how you warmed your way in because my mom was adamant that it's not happening. I mean, yes, it's not happening. So. My sister came and then she, she was just sitting there when you walked in. Mm -hmm. So she, she gave me a minute and said, that what's going on? She's hearing all these things. Mm -hmm. Now, where's the guy now? I said, he's coming to see me today. She said, when he comes, come, come, make come upstairs. So she saw you said, uh-uh, fine boy, let's make come upstairs, Joe. So she came upstairs and then she was holding um, Kosi, my mm -hmm. niece, the only grandchild in the family at that yes. time. So he made it past the came up. Kosi just reached out for him. Hey, hey. I said, I said, uh, see, I said, said his heart is good though. Really if my... I told you, you thought oh I was God. joking. Oh yeah, go so ahead. Yeah, his heart is good though. If Kosi follows him, like it's Kosi that does not yeah. allow anybody to carry her. Yeah. So Basuke just carried her and sat down. My mother and I said, mm, it's fine. No? What family are you from? See, I came from a good a royal family. Royal family. Okay. Royal. Double, twice royal. Say, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then that's how they started talking. And my sister was like, you better, what's wrong with you? See, this person wants my, you want your children in the house? So my sister just kind of just spoke to her mm -hmm. and all that. And yeah, that so the mom now jailed them. Both of them now put pressure on the dad. The, to, yeah, the my dad, dad. Too now jailed. Yeah. And, but interestingly, one of the things we didn't say about the proposal part and about the how you knew it was one part. Um, initially, you know, you, I was everything you didn't want. You yeah, didn't want ego. You didn't want pastor. I said it. Uh, me too. I had you know I had all those pictures that guys do have of how a girl should look, you know. But your your character and how smart you are and everything. So, uh, but let me continue. Uh, yes, this no. is interesting. We need to dig in. Uh, so mean? please, what are the things you wanted me to look like that I did the not look like? The guy you? wants supermodel now. You know how it is. Tall, uh, you want me to uh, be taller slim, than this? Uh, if I'm taller things. than this, how will you put your hand on my shoulder? Yeah, me, I'm, I like you like this. I usually, Forget that boy to, that was thinking that. Do you want to doing. look up to me? <laughs> <laughs> well, these are the things that give you a problem, you know? Um, just like we can send it casually, but it stops many people. You having those um, inhibitions in your mind oh, could have stopped you. And me having those pictures, because that's what happens in Love Single. They have an mm -hmm. image. You don't know those images were programmed by TVs and friends and things they have been seeing. They're, they're, not, they're not the real picture of marriage. Those guys are models. They're not, they're not, that's not the real. And some of those people that look like that, they might, they might also gel with you in mm -hmm. internal qualities. Yeah, you know? so, definitely. Um, so basically, your dad now started gelling. So we now finally agreed that she should come and marry. 
they now somewhere along the line you share your you are meeting my mom's story too mm. because both sides it wasn't funny at the beginning they now gave me list hmm. my brother list mm. fear list any list from the eastern region of this country <laughs> of my country fear it <laughs> They gave me the list. It was three full scarves. But okay, it was not. <laughs> it was not. Two full scarves. Always exaggerated. It was not. It's, well, it was more it than was one, one, one full scarves. It was one full scarves. Ah, no, 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 no. It was more than one full scarves. I'm serious. I, when I looked at the list, uh, I went through different phases of emotions. Pastor. I'm telling you. The I mean, I was happy and joyful that come back. When they give me the list, what am I not I worth went through it different. No, over what itself. Now, I, see, I, see, I see they <laughs> put an uh, extra on them till now. No. You know, the, I went to because I was a broke boy. Remember, I went to different phases of emotions. You know, one part of my face wanted to laugh, other part wanted to cry. <laughs> Have you ever been in that situation where something shock you? Who don't know that you laugh or they cry? <laughs> don't know that they laugh or they cry because I was blo ah, the list. I was seeing things. Ah, I don't see that kind of money. Inside the list, you must bring a full cow, not parts, so not cow parts. The living, it must be alive, living and where you drag it into the place. I mean, when I saw the things, ah, I said this thing can't work. I had to go meet my wife. I showed everything and everything. So she now went to... So I was with mm -hmm. my mom. And then I said to her that imagine... Because my immediate elder brother is about his age. Mm -hmm. um, so I said, imagine him. Just starting life, how much is his salary? Mm -hmm. And then they give him this kind of list. He's going to marry. Are we yeah. not going to eat after? And all that? Yeah. My mom said, no, that's how it's done. No. I said, then, so what do we do now? I should come and stay here for you till you can afford it. She just looked at me. Mm. It's your man. And then she then went to sort it out. So I don't know what they did, you know, what they cut off and yeah. all that. But and that, that's, a, that's an important thing. That girls need to learn that. So sometimes when they bring this exorbitant list for your husband or must want to be, except it's the guy that can afford it and is happy to do so. Oh, by all means. Please enjoy. But if like really if they give him that list now, now I will tell them to double even it. Even now, I will just write list for myself. Go pay. <laughs> if they don't give me, I will give myself list. Just go and just say, just to annoy the devil of how he treated me. Those <laughs> If I can write list, ah. I can write list now for myself. Two cows go inside. So you know, so <laughs> you know. <laughs> so ladies, learn how to go and fight like that and make sure they bring things down. Let it be reasonable. Because we're good. Don't just say, "Oh, it's your husband's concern." Don't do like that. It's not the right thing. So uh, they brought down the list, even though it was still big for me at the time. It was still large yeah, from but where at my size, but they made, it they made it very reasonable. Mm -hmm. So we took it from there. It was total. Everything was by faith. Everything was by faith. I couldn't. I didn't have all the things that I would get for traditional wedding. Um, some of the things that were clothes were supposed to put in a bag and give her. She put some of her old. No, her, no, no. Her I bought. Clothes. She I bought clothes. Actually, I bought. Okay. I, so what happened was the things. So my where I come from, they don't just put boxes. They open the boxes hmm. and they say one wrapper. Everybody shout, woo! One shoe, ooh, one chain, gold chain. So. I knew that my mom had told me they would open the boxes. So you have to make sure everything is, is new. So I had to buy things. So what I did was I bought things that I knew I would use. So I had to negotiate. So they said they would put, put uh, that six George or something. I told my mother, who is nobody saying George? So let's do lace and damask uh, or whatever it is that you know can. Yeah. So I bought things. So I handled the box. Mm -hmm. You handled. So we did it together. We share, yeah, we worked together. So you go and sort out, then man go and sort out everything. That's not realistic. If you know what he earns, mm -hmm. you know what he can afford. Help. Do it together. So she she really uh, made a lot of things easy. But even the, to the was the days of the traditional wedding, we didn't have the car, we didn't mm. have drinks, some other things like that. And we're already on our way. I mean, on the way from Lagos to Delta State, I was seeing all those um, headmen, headsmen, you know, with their cows. I began to admire cows. I said, see cow with them, see and this move the car like. This. And I kept thinking of kind of idea that just bring a truck, just smuggle one of the cows, throw inside the truck, and speed off. I was thinking of all kinds of things. Can you speed up in a truck too? <laughs> Yes, or for your, I tell young men now go and buy puppy. You know, that's okay. small calf. 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 Okay, go out, calf puppy. <laughs> buy it. <laughs> Start feeding it in your backyard now. If you don't have plan to get my you need that cow in the oh future. Oh my god. You know, so just, but we got there and by faith, Evil. you know, it's one, like one day, home. right before. They will request me to come bring something. Somebody will come, will come and send me money. Yeah. Somebody will just. It was so, just God. You know, it miracle. was by faith. We traveled to Rajnagar without having the things, yeah. and they kept coming up before the day day, and God just saw us through. The wedding itself also was interesting. Give some part of that just. The wedding. When we are now first thing we did when we announced it in church, we said. There's good news and there's bad news. No, that's the side you should have given. Yeah, that. Yeah, the one that that there's good news and there's bad news. Good news, Pastor K is getting married. Hey, yeah. Bad news, you can't attend the reception. Because there's no way I could have fed the whole church. I couldn't afford it, you know. And I told my account people, one dime of church money must not be in my wedding. Because not church getting married. Right. So 
there's no way personally I could afford feeding all those people. We had we're doing like three services then mm. and all that, all that, you know, so things were ready. I said there's no way I could and I had a lot of people that were also, you know, friends and all that. So I, I said, No, you guys can attend the church service, but you can't attend the wedding. And some people were upset, but that's when I started the saying that people that matter don't mind mm-hmm. and people that mm-hmm. mind they don't matter. matter. Because mm-hmm. the real people that were people understood that I couldn't accommodate everybody, they even still helped the way they could. But people that just wanted to cause trouble were upset. But that's their own issue. So go ahead. Okay, so no, from my own side, um, how we got married, first of all, meeting his mom. Mm. When I met his mom, I wasn't ready for it. In fact, I didn't, I didn't see him come. I didn't even know she was around. I came to see him. He just, he just, that day, he just called me. Are you coming? I said, oh, yeah, I have some time. I'll come to the house that day. So I, came, I got to the house, and he was sitting at the dining with his mom. So I walked in, and his mom now said, oh, is this her? I say how that did was because funny enough, Pascal had not formally proposed at the time. Yes, that this Pascal story. Yeah, he hadn't formally proposed at the time, so I was like, how that did was. So I just greeted her. She said, "Oh, it's your mother. How are you?" She didn't call me Mildred. That was one thing I noticed. She said, "Where are your parents from? Who are you?" She started to ask me a lot of questions. I was like, "What's going on?" So she greeted me and then went upstairs. So we sat down. Pascal was watching a movie, and then it was getting a bit late. Um, it was about seven p.m. So I said to him. Um, that let me be going. And I said, no, 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 that the movie is in the sweetest place. Like, let's finish the movie, then he would take me home. That was the plan. So I said, okay, I'll wait. So it was about almost to eight by that time when the movie was about rounding mm. up. And then his mom just came down and said, eh, hey, my dear, is your mother not at home? So I knew that, ah, I've, I've For watched like... millennials and co, that is not... Is your mother not at home? It's not a greeting. It's a, it's it is. You should be in your house by yeah, now. No. Yes. What reasonable <laughs> girl that has a mother, mother at home will still be here yeah. at this time? Yeah. Ah, I'm, and interestingly, my mother was not at home. My mother was in Kaduna. She was doing Omugo, my sister. Mm. Because if she was... So this was end of the year. So Pascal had not proposed. So if she was at home, <laughs> I would even be there mm. by that time, truly. But, you know, it was just that... He, I was waiting for him to finish the movie, and he promised to take me home. So I wasn't in my transport. So everything mm. was just... So to eight, a few minutes to eight, mm. she came down. Ah, I felt like... I saw his face change, and I kept saying, let's go, let's go. He was sitting down there like stone. I said, let's go, let's go. I was, I was, so, I was so uncomfortable. I carried my bag. I stood up. He said, sit down, wait for me. I said, ah, I just stood by the door. So he just put off the thing, and then we went. So he, he wouldn't say anything on the ride. When we got home, he was so mad. When he got to my house, he was about to drop me. He was so mad. Ah, when he gets home today. Ah, ah. I mean, I was just begging him. I said, ah, no, don't say anything. No, I'm already <laughs> entering on rough ground. Mm-hmm. If this is what, because for you to say, for, for me to enter and she says, oh, is this the one? I knew that that meant right. Pasuke was yes. now tending towards looking at marriage with me. So I knew that, ah, don't, don't let's enter badly. We're already mm-hmm. in trouble. Don't let's enter with her thinking that I'm sending you to fight her. Um, but things funny enough still didn't change. We still were not. But today we're very good though. We're very, very mm-hmm. good though. She's always calling me. I'm the one that doesn't even call her. Uh, when I got some shy, I sparked for her. Like, no, if you have any issues with my guests, talk to me. Don't talk to yeah. Don't, you know, talk like that to my guests. And uh, many people don't understand that you must always protect your spouse. You must never allow them have to interface with your in-laws, especially when it comes to things that are tense or issues like that. You talk to your own folks. Let her talk to her own folks. All right? Always protect your, your partner. You know, the people don't understand. The Bible says, therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother and cleave to his wife. So your wife becomes your primary constituency your primary assignment, you know, you, you must protect her first. That's the best you're in a covenant with. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so he, he actually really did defend me and stand yes. for me throughout yeah. that season. Yeah. Um, then when White Wedding came, hmm, we couldn't afford a lot of things. Okay, I still you. remember. And even though we couldn't afford things, Pasuke was still frivolous. I don't even get it. Frivolous came. Yes. We went to book, went to book hall. We were still believing God for her. When we got there, you bought two dogs. <laughs> you were prizing, you didn't buy. You were prizing two pit bulls. Yes, it was on you the wedding... Want, was it on the wedding day I bought it? Or? Yes, bought it for a wedding day. And I said, wedding present. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I bought two dogs, two pit bulls. Same uh, day. It was crazy. Because if so I buy one, they'd be lonely. That was the justification. That's what he told me. Just that time. <laughs> so we, we didn't have the money. Um, then I remember that my mom was very... Ah, my mom has a particular way she wanted yeah. things. So she was like, she has not seen the program. Ah, big, they have been very the big. The big. first one was 1,000 people. The second one was 2,000 people. They were giving... I remember mm. then MTN SIM card was like 18,000. Mm. They were giving it out as souvenir. I'm telling like, you. it was crazy. We had mm. four caterers. The wedding before my, my elder sister's wedding. We had four caterers, two small chops people, and one assumed person outside. So I'm... 
crazy, you understand, crazy money. They had two high tables. It was crazy. So coming from all of that, they were going, they would, and they had planned that the 1001 was in Unilag. The second one was 2000. So they opened it up. So they were planning my own with the 5001. <laughs> <laughs> we now came with 350. I'm telling you, we got it, got it, got it. And 350 that time was she a very said, small wedding. My father, was even, my father was still photocopying uh, invitation card. He didn't concern anymore. We we'll photocopy the invitation card. So a lot of things were not what she wanted. She wanted a program. We couldn't afford to do program. Yes, we didn't print program. She wanted, so she was asking me, ah, she has still not seen my engagement ring. They won't remove that big, big rock from your hand. And they won't put the engagement ring. I said, mommy, don't worry. It's not an engagement ring. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. I just kept saying, don't worry. Don't worry. Then she, now, she was not like, she hasn't seen my wedding dress. She hasn't, and my wedding dress was simple. I wanted mm -hmm. something very simple. simple yeah. And I knew I wanted to wear ivory because I felt it would look nice on my skin. And I knew my mom would want it to be pure white, you know, Catholic church. <laughs> and so that day, so I told her that my wedding dress was mint green. So she was, first of all, that one was just throwing her everywhere. She called my younger sister, Diche. That one came from school. Diche came back and was like, I see why will you wear mint green now, please now. Oh yeah, last, last, at least wear ivory. So after she had begged me for two days, and I now said, okay, I will wear ivory. My dress is actually ivory, but don't tell them that. I wanted them to settle for ivory because if I start from mint yes, green, they will, they yes, will, they will agree to ivory. To <laughs> so she then said, okay. So she traveled back to school and all that. So that morning, a lot of things. God just showed us favor. Um, somebody offered to do my makeup for free. I was her mm -hmm. first customer, Alexia Hosfall. Mm -hmm. Then my cousin came, did my hair. Um, before that, she came and did spa treatment for me. I mean, it was just, God just showed up, Shah, for us. Even the, um, then the rings. The rings, we didn't even go buy rings. So on Thursday before the wedding, wedding. on Thursday before the wedding, um, I remember, no, it was on, on Thursday, Friday, Friday. Okay. I, I think it was, was Friday. Friday. I can't remember. No, no, it was on Thursday. Mm -hmm. It was on Thursday because I braided my hair in the morning. Yeah. So it was on Thursday. Thursday before the wedding, um, my brother called me and said, ah, I know to hold right now, but see what's in my hand and gave me 18K. And I remember that I called Pastor K and I was like, ah, we still haven't bought wedding rings. And he was like, wedding ring, that you're on your own, we wed with Bible. Yes, now. We are people of God now. <laughs> he said, we wed with Bible. Bible. Who has money? Who has money for ring? I'm still looking for money to pay for drinks yeah, and some other things. Have that, you know, he's not doing any of that. If I'm, if I'm, if I'm not wearing that ring that I'm on my own. <laughs> um, so I, I think he was really stressed and all that. So I yes, said to him, sir. okay, just come. Mom's even wanted to see you, so come. That was the day you came with your mom. So okay. you now sent, so she went home from there. Then both of us okay, went to look for the ring. ring. Okay. So we got to one place and then we saw the rings for 15 uh -huh. five or something. Uh -huh. Yes, your uh -huh. ring. We had the and same rings. Yes, yeah, so pure gold, though. I don't even steps. understand. Yes, because I, when we went to Dubai the last time, they were begging me to sell, sell this it, ring because it was yeah. so. When they weighed it, the guy said the quality, everything. I said, yes. God, just it's about well, Italian yes. gold. Um, rings. So somehow that's how we're able to pay for the ring, fifteen yeah. five, and yeah, we now so had small change. I'm telling you, from the it was last day to wedding, went to buy it. <laughs> we couldn't afford anything. It was serious. Oh and God. we still want to sell the ring now. If you're interested, and then send sell which message. ring? If you're interested, okay. this ring is going to David. Your marriage will last. If you buy this ring, buy this ring. Your marriage will last. <laughs> we're not selling our rings <laughs> ever. <laughs> so. Um, yeah, so I, I guess after that, we're now able to, God just showed us favor, yeah. wisdom. In fact, even getting married, my, my parents were insistent that we would get married in the Catholic Church. And that meant mm. that Pastor K would have to go do catechism classes, go and be baptized as a Catholic, do confirmation. A lot of drama. Yeah. And my brothers, were, my eldest brother was insisting, not my brothers, the one before, you know, mm. now I'm not even interested. He was like, his, his own is... Uh, he wanted to see his nieces and nephews mm -hmm. so that he doesn't have business with all of us. When we mm -hmm. have children, then he yeah. gets involved in our marriage. <laughs> uh, but my eldest brother was insistent that he would do everything he's supposed to do. Why wouldn't he? I don't want to hear that one say, be pastor. He would do everything he's supposed to do. You marry, you can't teach us. And so my mom traveled, like I said. She went for my sisters. Uh, the, my dad called me one day. The oddest things. And God can walk in mysterious ways. Yeah. And that's why I'm saying this because you, you'll be shocked, shocked at what God will use. And so we're really confused about that part too, that we can't get married. Pastor Gay can't get married, yes, can't no. joke. They passed no, So it's not even happening. So my dad just called me and said, eh, hey, um, your mom says you don't want to get married in the Catholic Church. What is the problem? I said, no problem, sir. You know, I said, are you a Catholic? I said, no. He said, so if you're not a Catholic, why would you get married in the Catholic Church? Yeah, yeah. This doesn't make any sense. Mm -hmm. I said, I don't understand your mother. I just kept quiet. I didn't say anything. I said, God is working. Next thing he says to me is, um, but I have an idea. You know, because my parents attend Unilag Chapel. That's where the Catholic Church was. But that 
that church was actually owned by the Protestants. So one of my uncles used to, a relative, used to pastor there. So he said, oh, I can talk to him. I can talk to Pastor Azuka. So people can use the place. But when you put the address, it's the same address, Catholic or this is the same address that is put there. So it doesn't matter. People won't know which one it is. So a lot of people came thinking I was getting married in a Catholic church. But when they got there, they found out that it was actually the pastor. It was the Protestant side mm -hmm. that wed me. So everything just somehow, God just did Worked it. Out. And if my mom was around, I don't think that my dad would have agreed to that. Mm -hmm. was isolated and he just thought it through that. Yeah, it doesn't make sense if you're not Catholic to get married. In Catholic yeah. church, he just, I don't know how, but God just worked it out for us. Even on the day of the wedding, my mom was still particular about little things. Where is your bouquet? I didn't have money for a bouquet. My sister gave me 8,000 naira to go and make fresh flowers. I was like, 8,000 naira for fresh flowers? Mm. We're looking for money. Yes, yeah, so we didn't have anything. <laughs> so, so I said, let me buy things that will last. So I used it to go and buy all the lingerie that I used in the first year <laughs> of the marriage. Yeah. Got all the sexy lingerie and all the other way. That I'm godly and so, girl. Yes, yes. I needed to be ungodly. Yes. <laughs> I needed to be ungodly. Because you are supposed to be away from everything for one year, taking care of your wife. I was so you, I wanted to make sure I was taking care of. Mm -hmm. So I I remember that morning my mom was really, Where is your flower? You are not holding bouquet. No, 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 she was just shouting. My dad just said, Are we going to mother in this car? I said, No, that is just the the bride's father and he said, Get into the car. So I sat in the car. You know, I said, What's that you are holding? I said, fan. You know, I said, but this makes sense. You can't fan yourself with a bouquet. And Nigeria yeah, is hot. hot yeah. I so said, yes, daddy. He said, this is more reasonable. This is yeah. more reasonable. He just kept nodding his head. This is more reasonable. This is more reasonable. We got to the church. I got to the church. I found that I got there before Pastor K. I'm telling you. My father was so upset. I'm telling you. Oh, Bichuku, late come. Yes. I can I have to blame somebody for this. It's actually <laughs> Obichuku that made you come late. <laughs> The Are person sure? that dreamed, yeah, I don't think it's only him, one of well, us. It's all of you, Sha. My you. father just said, Oh my God, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Pack away from the front of the entrance. Pack away, pack away, pack away. We just stood there. We went past Kate came and then we got into the church. I'm telling you. No, I don't come late again because she's my life. And she's like, yes. Make sure I'm on time. Yes. <laughs> then, Who comes late to his own wedding? Where did, ah, 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 ah. So I'm going. So. Uh, so that's it. But the wedding, was, the wedding night was interesting. Um, I had a gift for her. Okay. I gave her a wedding gift. I was scared now. We're going to talk yeah. about wedding night. So, what was that gift again? Was it? It was a wristwatch. Yeah, a so red, I watched really that went red, somewhere. beautiful Keneko. And you said, yeah, Keneko. I loved it. Red watch. Very yeah. fine. So, went somewhere during the dating years and yes, you liked that and watch. And I loved the wristwatch, but I couldn't, know, afford couldn't afford it. couldn't afford it. So, when we, when we were going, I told the person to pack it. That will come back. So, I came back to the I store imagine. later. I and I couldn't even buy it. I just deposited. I said, look, don't sell this watch. So, I deposited and started paying small, small. Till. But then like you're, still learning, you're still learning as we romantic, romantic. Yo, I'm representing the guys of Africa. We're romantic. So, <laughs> oh so I bought that watch. So the wedding night, that was the first gift she opened. Yes, Before you open another person's gift, she opened yes, my own gift to her on her wedding yes. night. You know, and it was all that. so sweet though. It was so sweet. Was so sweet. Then she was very shy. Yo. She went to hide in the bathroom. She wanted to come did. out. Can you imagine? All the people that say did. they are too tired of wedding day. I don't know what on earth. <laughs> but it's okay. People are talking but about. Because I will break tired. down this door. I'm tired for what we are here for. You say you are tired. Are you okay? okay. She was shy. She was going to see the bathroom. She was hiding. I said, Come out, this woman. You say, I should bath, bath, bath. Leave you bath. Oh come my out God. For <laughs> We didn't. We just. We are not going to talk about that. No, no wedding night discussion here. No. Okay. We'll see you in the next video. I love what I heard about wedding was dancing. Hey, I did that dance. Oh, and you dance and dance and dance and the money wasn't much. Oh. What's the case? I would do on that wedding. I go spray me this one. Oh. Ah. I hated the dance. I was. I was scared. Was really dancing. Oh, that day I was like, hmm, better ah, take it easy. Oh. My mother was eyeing me. If you dance anyhow, so there. <laughs> Did you not know you get married before? I'll you dance you. anyhow. You don't know, say so that they are alive. Small, small. JJ, my friend, you say, you are not dancing. I say, my ah. mother, my mother. <laughs>